The average cost to redo a kitchen today is twelve to thirty-five thousand dollars and upwards. A lot of homeowners today don't have this kind of money. Inflation is high, interest rates are high, utilities are high, and we are going through a cost of living crisis. However, something that has not stopped is wear and tear, deterioration. It's like white hairs at some point, they catch up with us. And although on the exterior they may look a little worn and old, the insides, the bases, the shells are still in very good condition. And it's just the exterior of things that need a touch up. Again, like our white hairs, the odd visit to our hairdress every now and then just to touch up our whites. But inside, we are young and we are strong. Replacing the doors, the handles, and even the countertops and the sink does not cost a lot. You can utilize the existing units to provide a brand new kitchen look at a fraction of the cost. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I post videos weekly of businesses. You can start with little or no money like this one or this one here and so many others. So make sure to smash that subscribe button and press the notification bell below. So that you get notified every time I post a video of a business that may be suitable for you. The numbers are incredible. To do a makeover on the average size kitchen will take a couple of handy people a couple of days. You can charge on average three to $5,000 per job and your cost is half that including labor. And then you have the upsells. A client may want you to replace a oven or their fridge or maybe want some tiling done or a repaint. And if you're a really good salesperson, you can upsell them an entire new kitchen. I looked into this as a business years ago and was blown away by the numbers and the demand. Why I didn't do it, I was busy at the time with other things. And I've always been looking into all sorts of businesses. This was just one of many, and this is why I've decided to make this channel to talk about ideas and give you the ideas. And like any business, starting out is hard, especially getting off the ground and getting your first customers. Get on social media, pay for SEO on Google. You'll have to spend a little on marketing to get some business. And since profits in this business are so high, and being the business is in such high demand, paying to advertise on Google, Facebook, and Instagram would be well worth a small investment and a great way to get off the ground. And the great thing about advertising on these platforms is you can target specific demographic and geographic areas. So not only a specific area close to where you want to work, but also specific people, homeowners. You can target a specific sex, male or female. You can decide exactly how much it is you want to spend on your ads per day, per week, etc. Design a nice ad, put it in your local paper, put it through doors, tell your family and friends, speak to landlords, get the word out there and show people they can get a complete kitchen makeover for a fraction of the cost. You know, when franchises come out with this concept, you know it's a good business, right? I've spoken with a couple of franchises in the UK and the USA and they just can't get enough workers to fill demand, hence why they're franchising out. And please do not buy into a franchise. You don't need them and the 10 to $25,000 they ask up front, you can spend a fraction of this on marketing your business and getting it off the ground. You don't need to purchase any vehicles or rent any premises. You can rent as you go. When you get your first job, rent a van for a couple of days. And if you need to store products in a secure place, rent from your local storage depot unit for a few days. You really don't have to spend a fortune when you first start up, which is one of the beautiful things about this business. Once you start growing, you then invest in vehicles, premises, and tools you will need. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please give it a like, and if you're looking for a business to do from home, then why not watch this video where I discuss five work from home ideas. Thank you for watching and see you next week.